30mm cannon in particular almost like a sniper rifle. It's that precise, it can pretty much hit first shot, first kill, then first SAW commander Carl Tom Polensky told Military.com back in 2021, adding that the Ghost Rider is going to be the most lethal, with the most loitered time, probably the most requested weapon system from ground forces in the history of warfare. Brace yourselves, the Air Force's newest gunship is officially on the prowl downrange. The AC-130J Ghost Rider gunship flew its first combat mission in Afghanistan in late June, deploying to relieve the AC-130U spooky aircraft following the latter's final combat sorties, an Air Force Special Operations Command spokesman confirmed to the war zone on Wednesday. According to the Northwest Florida Daily News, which first reported the news of the combat deployment, the mission took place just days before the June 28 change of command ceremony for new AFSOC Commander Air Force Lt. Gen. James Slife at Herbert Field in Florida. This first appeared in task and purpose here according to the war zone. The 73rd Special Operations Squadron at Herbert is currently flying the Ghost Rider in Afghanistan, likely in a close air support or armed overwatch capacity. Described by AFSOC officials as the ultimate battle plane and a bomb truck with guns on it, the Ghost Rider comes with the standard 105mm cannon and an additional 30mm GO-23 slash A cannon along with wing pylons designed for both GBU-39-B small-diameter bombs and AGM-114 Hellfire missiles. The 30mm cannon in particular almost like a sniper rifle. It's that precise, it can pretty much hit first shot, first kill, then first SAW commander Carl Tom Polensky told Military.com back in 2021, adding that the Ghost Rider is going to be the most lethal, with the most loitered time, probably the most requested weapon system from ground forces in the history of warfare. But while the Ghost Rider first hit initial operational capacity back in September 2020, a January 2021 assessment from the Pentagon's Office of the Director of Operational Test and Evaluation found that the Ghost Rider's fire control systems performed inconsistently when accounting for changing ballistic conditions like shifts in altitude and ambient wind, requiring frequent in flight adjustments to ensure the weapon's accuracy beyond that, the 30mm cannon's full rate of fire of 200 rounds a minute caused the cannon to shake so violently that the fire control system's automatic safeguards kicked in, forcing the operator to again recalibrate the gun and mount to get the system moving again, according to the Pentagon ot &E assessment. Those problems have since been addressed. According to the Pentagon's 2021 assessment, the Ghost Rider systems were officially effective and suitable for cast and air interdiction missions. The following the march, the 4th Special Operations Squadron, 1st Special Operations Wing received an upgraded version of the new gunship with major improvements in software and avionics technology, while details are scant on the nature of the Ghost Rider's first combat mission. U.S. Special Operations Forces have remained heavily in the fight in Afghanistan in recent years. Unfortunately, there's word yet on whether they can expect future Ghost Rider support to include frickin' laser beams.